grade 8 students, I am Miss Alexander, your social studies teacher. Welcome to lesson 13. Today we will be continuing with our discussion on natural regions by looking at the forested highland. If this is the first time you're meeting with us or you were unable to uh, be with us in lesson 12, I encourage you to mark off chapter 2 in your New Horizon book 2 and you can revisit the chapter after today's lesson. In that way, you'll be able to catch up and to see what we did in the previous lesson. If you are rejoining us today, we will go into a quick recap as we always do before looking at today's topic. In the previous lesson, we understood that the hilly sand and clay region extends from the Pomeroon River inland to the Manzaruni, south to the Apotiri, and thence eastwards to the Quarantine. So here are some questions for you. You will respond by saying whether the statement is true or whether it is false. So let's go. Constant heavy rainfall is the main reason for the heavy forest cover and swamps in the hilly sand and clay region. Constant rainfall is the reason for heavy forest cover and swamps in the hilly sand and clay region. Is the statement true or is it false? If you said true, you are correct. Let's move to the other question. The sandy soil is very fertile and the best for farming. The sandy soil is very fertile and the best for farming. Is this statement true or is it false? All right, even though some amount of farming is done in the hilly sand and clay region, the sandy soil is not the best for farming, and hence this statement is false. All right, let's move on to the other question. Greenheart, mora, and crabwood are valuable tree resources found in the hilly sand and clay region. Green heart, mora, and crabwood are valuable tree resources found in the hilly sand and clay region. Is the statement true or is it false? Think about it. We did mention it in the previous lesson. All right, the statement is true. So let's take another question. Cattle ranching and tourism contribute towards the economy of the hilly sand and clay region. Cattle ranching and tourism contribute towards the economy of the hilly sand and clay region. Is this statement true or is it false? All right, if you said true, you are correct. I am very happy that you remembered some of the key points of our previous lesson. You did a very good job. So let's move straight into today's lesson. In this lesson, you will be given takeaway activities to complete. You are required to either complete this on your own or you may seek the assistance of someone else, perhaps an institution or someone that is living in your community. Now, it's important for you to complete these activities because they help you to have a greater understanding of the topic that, that we're doing and to see its relation within our society. So let's move right into today's session. So what are the objectives? At the end of today's lesson, students are required to 
describe the highland region, and two, to explain the economic activities of the highland region. So let's start by looking at the physical features. The forested highland is the largest of our natural regions. It is made up of large areas of forest covered by mountains. The mountain ranges include, one, the Imataka Mountains in the northwest, two, the Kanuku Mountains in the southwest, three, the Sihera Akari, Amuku, and the Kamua Mountains in the south, four, the majestic Pakaraima Plateau in the western interior, and six, other smaller ranges and hills, for example, the Arukua Range in Essequibo. Our highland region is an area of heavy rainfall. The heat along with the heavy rainfall influences the forest growth. Planet life is highly favored in this type of climate. As a result, the forest is dense and varied. It is a source of wealth for Guyana. Growth is vigorous in the conditions of high temperature and abundant moisture which prevail throughout the year. So here is your takeaway activity. Identify at least two mountain ranges in the forested highland region. Just a few seconds ago, we did list quite a few mountain ranges found in this particular area. You are to collect pictures and information about the mountains and use them to create a scrapbook. Now you can be as creative as you wish in creating this scrapbook. You can give the scrapbook a title, anything that makes it creative and fun for learning. Now let's move on to the economic activity of the forested highland. The timber companies use the trees from this natural region. In the forest, the trees are selected, felled, and prepared for export or for use locally. Another economic activity of the people in the forested highland region is blata bleeding. Blata, a rubber-like substance obtained from the blata wood tree, is used to make ornaments. Maybe you may have seen Balata ornaments before, perhaps if you would have visited the Heritage Month exhibition in Georgetown, or perhaps if you are from one of the uh, interior regions that is located within the forested highland. All right, so let's take a quick activity. Here are the jumbled names of trees found in our forests. See if you can arrange the letters of each name correctly. The first letter begins the name of each tree. So here they are on the screen. We have six types of wood that are found within our forests. Can you unscramble the letters to determine the names of these types of wood? Take a few seconds. I'm sure that you might have unscrambled two at least correctly by now. So take a little bit more time and unscramble the others. If you like, you can grab your pencil and your book and write them down quickly as we go. All right, 10 more seconds. Some of these names are quite familiar to you, so they may not be that difficult. All right, so let's move right along and determine what are the correct names for these types of wood found in our forest. Number one is the Siparuta wood. Number two, the Wallaba. Number three, Silver Bally. Number four, Crab wood. Number five, purple heart, and number six, green heart. 
I commend you for completing this activity. So I would like for you to just give yourselves a pat on the shoulder if you were able to get all six. Good job to you. If you got a few correctly, still I commend you for a good job. I trust that you take away a lot from this activity in understanding that our rainforest really has an abundance of types of wood. All right, so let us move on to looking at the way of life of the people in the forested highland region. There is a high population of the Amerindians in the forested highland region. The Amerindians use the resources of their environment to make bows and arrows and blowpipes for hunting. They make calabashes, canoes, and paddles. They weave hammocks and baskets from tough fibers and dried grasses from the forest. Some of the baskets and hammocks are sold locally or in other countries. In addition, they make cassava bread and use the heat of the sun to bake it. Amerindians make a drink from cassava called paiwari. They also like to drink cane juice. The special dish of the Amerindians, as you know, is, what is it? Pepper pot, you are correct. So here's another takeaway activity. Collect pictures of the items the Amerindian make using wood and fibers found in the forested highland region. Just a few seconds ago, we did mention some of the items that the Amerindian make. For example, paddles, canoes, they make hammocks, they make baskets. So you can do your research and collect pictures on those and paste them in your book. So in wrapping up today's lesson, let us just recap some of the main points that we learned today. We learned that one, the main physical feature of the forested highland region is that it is the largest of our natural regions. Two, it is made up of the largest area of forest covered mountains due to heavy rainfall and an abundance of moisture which prevails throughout the year. Three, a number of mountain ranges are found in this region, including the Imataka Mountains in the northwest and the majestic Pakarama Plateau in the western interior. Four, timber export and balata bleeding are two economic activities of the region. Five, purple heart, wallaba, silver valley, and crabwood are types of wood found in the forested region. Well, students, this has brought us to the end of today's lesson. Do remember to complete the activities given. I am your teacher, Miss Alexander, saying bye for now and see you in the next lesson.